my name's Kerry Mackrath and I'm Crimson Consulting's newest tutor. So I'll be tutoring IB subjects because I did the International Baccalaureate at my last two years of school and found it a really rewarding experience. I now go to Cambridge University and study politics and international relations. So without further ado, here are my five top tips for doing well in IB. First tip to remember is that IB is a marathon, not a sprint. It can be tempting to try and leave all your revising to the end of this two-year period, but it's just not going to work. IB is a really content-heavy course, and so to do well, you have to work consistently over the course of two years. The flip side of this, of course, is that you also need to make sure that you don't tire yourself out in the first year. Just maintaining a good balance between work and life is especially important in IB. Tip number two. I mean, it can be really tempting to sort of blow off CAS as being unimportant and trying to, you know, make one activity be both creative and a form of action and a form of service. But if you try and embrace the spirit of CAS and undertake a whole lot of interesting and new activities, that can be really good for university applications. Not only is it personally more rewarding, but when you're applying for university, Often, the people who look at your applications want to see a student who is not simply only interested in getting their grades. They like, you know, to see well-rounded people who have interests in all sorts of different sporting, cultural, musical activities. So, an example of this is Modern United Nations is really popular at the moment, especially, I think, amongst the American universities, for what it shows about a student's public speaking abilities, but also their interest in world affairs. So don't be afraid to try something new. It can really liven up your application and make them think when they open it, oh, this is a bit different. This is a student who's tried something new. Uh, and the point number three, choose your higher level subjects wisely because the higher level subjects are genuinely very challenging and very content heavy. You'll be spending a lot of time on these subjects. So it's quite important that you try and choose subjects you're both interested in but also good at. Um, I would also advise against doing four higher level subjects, but again, everyone's situation is different. Number four, talk and the EE are genuinely very important when it comes to getting those bonus points. It'd be tempting to sort of brush them off as like IB extras, but really those bonus points can be the difference between getting the scholarship you want or not getting it, or even getting into the university you want and not getting in. Again, additionally, they also teach you really important skills for being in university, like the EE is incredibly valuable for what it teaches you about referencing and what it teaches you about being able to write a university-length document. And number five, really important to remember also is this kind of links to the idea of IB being a marathon, is that at your end of year exams, it's really important that you budget in enough time for you to study up all those topics in the first year, you might have forgotten. Um, we all have to do this because as much as you feel like something's in your long-term memory, you might just have to brush it up for the exams. And leaving yourself enough time to do that, rather than sort of desperately trying to learn everything for the first time at the end of the two years, gives you a really good shot of going into your exams and doing well and just feeling confident about it. So those are my top five tips for IB. And good luck for all of you who are sitting IB exams. I'm sure you'll do great. And also good luck for all of those who are preparing for their university applications and interviews. Um, as someone who's at an overseas university, I can honestly say it is such an amazing and rewarding experience and something I really highly encourage you to go for. I never thought, you know, that I never really imagined myself at an overseas university like Cambridge but it's honestly completely revolutionized the way that I think, the way that I learn and study, and just all the opportunities I'll get. So I strongly encourage you all to apply, and if you do have any questions, then come to Crimson Consulting.